Mr. Bethauser, welcome to Batland Economics. Today I'm outside the Museum of Failure in Washington, D.C. A museum dedicated to business failures, I had to check it out. From a portable vinyl player released in 1983 with limited flexibility for uses other than a flat surface, to the 2014 release of the Amazon Fire Phone with limited apps, this museum explores products that flopped in the marketplace. Products fail for a variety of reasons. Sometimes businesses don't fully understand their customer, or they fail to innovate and keep up with the times. Or perhaps the price is too high. Some products leave a bad taste in our mouth like orange juice flavored cereal. While sales initially boomed for different color ketchup, customers quickly lost interest. And sometimes businesses are better off leaving their product as it is. When Coca-Cola introduced New Coke in 1985, they found consumers quickly wanted the original formula. While McDonald's Arch Deluxe in 1996 failed to sway customers after the company spent $300 million. Failure is an important part of the business process. But what happens after a product failure is even more important by reflecting on what could be learned from that experience. As Henry Ford said, the only real mistake is the one from which we learn nothing. Until next time, thanks for watching.